Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out an indie horror demo called Mortui, Outbreak Secrets. It looks really good. It kind of has the vibe of, I don't know, a Resident Evil style retro game? Kind of. I don't want to do any disservice to the game. This is only going off the features on the Itch.io page and also um, some of the screenshots that I saw of the Itch.io page. For some unknown reason, the zombie virus has taken over the world and zombies are everywhere. The question is, this pandemic is unnatural? I suppose that's supposed to be, is this pandemic unnatural? There was always suspicion about this subject. While running away from the zombies, you find a manhole cover and jumped on. Keep yourself safe in the sewer system. There are enough items in the sewer to sustain your life, but this sewer is going somewhere deep. As you wander through, you will find the truth of the pandemic and mysteries. Survive, craft, use your intelligence, solve the puzzles, and solve the mystery. There's an inventory system, a whole bunch of other stuff. So it looks quite good from the demo page. I'm excited to see where this goes and how it functions and works out. Um, I don't think there's too much to say, so let's hop in. Oh, demo disc. I love the way this looks. It looks great. There definitely seems to be a coherency with the visuals that I'm going to enjoy, I think. Oh, here we go. Press E to lights. Turn on the lights with with the light switch on the wall. Um, probably not. English is probably not the dev's first language. But maybe that opening animation reminds me of um 70s to die. Oh, lights are on. Get the flashlight. Take the flashlight from the shelves in the room on the start area. But I want vending machine snacks. Oh. Oh, this is the start area, I guess. We have what? Press I for inventory and use batteries. Is that what I picked up? Combine. No. Use. Item on use. Item on use, no. Uh, hello, why can't I go back over? Use the buttons for opening iron door. Use the buttons for opening the iron door to continue exploring the sewers. Buttons are behind the door area. Why can't I pick any of that up? Behind the door in the room? Oh, this side? The door is opened. I can wander through the sewers now. This looks good. I like the transition. Oh, never mind. I thought it was like actually moving me. Whoa, that was a very big difference in light. Go in the power room and turn the emergency power of the sewers for the lights and doors. Wow, that battery drains like really fast. Uh, if you have any issues with flashing lights, please do not watch this video. I'm probably going to flash the flashlight a lot. I have plenty of other videos for you to check out. If you're not too sensitive, maybe it'll be okay, but I'm a little worried that, you know, even a little bit might trigger a reaction for some of you. I'm really only thinking about that now that I'm flicking the light on and off. Ew! Not the zombies! That's some typing of the dead stuff right there. That like all red visual effect. Oh, did I hear the door open? Is it coming for me? Take valve off shelf. Pizza. Investigate the zombie on the floor. Take a look at the zombie body in the machine room. Why is there so much food in here? In the sewer? That's not good. Why did my flashlight go down when I wasn't using it? Did I accidentally have it on? Then how did I turn it back off? Where did it go? That's walled off. I can't believe they are here as well. And door is opened. Why did it open? Okay, I don't like that it's a little silly like this. It should have just been open, you know what I mean? There's no reason for it to be open other than to... Make sure you don't use the miss the body. Take valve into your hands. I use K 
Okay, done. Drain the water. Turn the valve. Got it. Jump down the ladder. Oh, don't hurt me. We'll explore the sewer section. I thought I saw something run past, but I guess not. Visually, it looks good. I think the grammar could change a little bit. A little bit of an update. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. Who locked you all in there? Did, were you all alive and then you got locked in with one? Ew. Elevator's not working because of no electricity. Find the generator. Not in here, I'm guessing. Over here? No way. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I can open it. There's no reason for that other door to have opened when we could have opened it ourselves. It's obviously a mechanic that exists. Generator is empty. Find a jerry can for fuel. I like the music here. It's very spooky. In here? Oh, batteries. It's a little worried you guys had just like broken through. Oh. Why is there a painting down here? That's silly. Pliers, a light, big fuel canister of some kind. The sensitivity is a little intense. Am I missing something? Oh, do I need to activate this later and then I have to run before they get me? It's probably the sequence that we're waiting for. I don't see one here, so let's go back, I guess. Uh, excuse me? I pressed space. Did that pull me out? What? I can't click anything. Alright, I found the jerry can. It was in the room with the zombies. You probably just saw it. Um, open your inventory and take jerry can into your hands. I wonder why it was there of all places. Alright, let's go fill the generator. I didn't have any issues with um, being forced back to the start so far, which is good. I wonder why space caused that to happen. Or maybe it's because I went up the ladder. Activate the generator. Oh, sorry, I'm, I misread this. I do like the game um, from like a visual stylish point. Like these zooms are kind of interesting, but I was just in that room, so you don't really need to show me. I feel like the game is treating me like I'm dumb, right? I need to hurry. Are they gonna break out and come get me? I hope not. Use the buttons and go down with the elevator and escape zombies. Okay. All right, and you're suddenly there. I feel like we would want to see the sequence happen as we're going around the corner. Like we wanna hear it when we get to the elevator, then it snaps back to that. I think that would be good. Yeah, it's very stylish. This logo is good. I like it. I think it's interesting. I like the visuals. The sound is good. The premise is very interesting, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, hopefully I like the full release. I do think you need someone to proofread the text like really bad though. Um, and then also, I don't know what was up with that space thing, but you saw it happen, so weird. Um, I do think you could probably work a little bit more on the sequences, like when you first go down to the zombie that was eating the body, the door should have been opened already or you should have been able to um, go over and open itself instead of like, and the door is open, it could be the only way forward is through that door over there, that's where the zombie went, something like that, you know, something a little more immersive and not just like, oh, it's suddenly open. How strange and scary, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, if you're excited to see what happens with this game, please let me know. And maybe we'll check out the full release here on the channel. Otherwise, if you really have any comments for the devs, I'm sure they would love to know. The issue link is down below. As always, that's been it for this video. If you would like, 
you can join our Discord. We're going to be having a community night here in a couple of weeks to celebrate 200 subscribers on the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.